from fastballs now to fast travel. Nice work in there, folks. Hyperloop One is celebrating a successful test of its transportation system, which could potentially move people and cargo at roughly 700 miles an hour in the near future. Our Carter Evans has more from Los Angeles. Two, one. Blink and you might miss it. But speed is sort of the point. On a test track in the Nevada desert, a 1,500 pound sled went from zero to 60 in about a second. Powered by an electromagnetic propulsion system, it reached 116 miles per hour before plowing into a sand barrier to slow it down. We demonstrated today a full-scale component of the Hyperloop. We always said we were going to move this fast. It's just really amazing to see the team come together behind it and execute. Hyperloop One hopes to build a carbon-free network of tubes with pods that would travel at near supersonic speeds on a cushion of air using electric motors. Theoretically, someone could travel the roughly 400 miles from Los Angeles to San Francisco in about 30 minutes. So this simulates the pod going through the tube? Correct. We got an inside look at Hyperloop's engineering last fall at the company's headquarters in Los Angeles. We literally build a full-scale tube between any two destinations. Then inside of that tube, we have a pod that we can send either people or cargo very quickly. Some critics say Wednesday's test shows there's still a long way to go. Keep in mind that this was a very short distance and its maximum speed was one-tenth the speed of what a Hyperloop system would be. The concept Hyperloop One is working on gained traction in 2013 after Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk released a design plan. But there's competition. The fact that there are several companies working on this means there are a lot of people who take this idea very seriously and are determined to try and make it happen. However, infrastructure is very hard. It just takes time to take an idea and turn it into reality. Hyperloop One CEO Rob Lloyd told us that reality is not so far off. How long before we see the first functional Hyperloop system? Five years from now, we'll be moving goods and people.